Yep, hello and bonjour and welcome to my channel today oh my goodness on the note of me being like hey buy more consciously I bought a lot of the new Kiko collection and I'm very excited to explore it with you guys and review it and give my first impressions this one is called ray of love it came out last Friday and it's their Valentine's collection and all of the packaging is so cute and lovely with little hearts all of the little compacts the lipsticks have the red and the and the gold, the metallic, the blushes. And ultimately, yeah, I didn't buy every single thing, obviously. I, I think unless you're a, a full-time influencer who gets sent all these things, that's not really realistic. But I sincerely seemed, seemed to love everything that I saw in store, so I picked up bits and pieces. So we're gonna be doing today two looks for you guys. I got two little eyeshadow palettes and two lipsticks, so we're gonna do two separate looks obviously duh and I'm just gonna give my first impressions do my makeup I did get some of the skincare skincare the primer I got the primer and we're just gonna do a full face the only thing that's missing is foundation and brows and mascara that was not part of this collection but that's about it so let us begin this lovely journey of reviewing these products I hope you enjoy this video and let us dive in so first and foremost is prep. I actually don't typically buy a lot of prep stuff at Kiko, but this just looks so good, so I had to. So first we have the glowing primer. Oh my god, the packaging. It's so nice. This is, well, a, a glowing primer. I tried it on in the store. It has kind of the white has shimmers in it and the pink is moisturizing, I don't know. And it seemed super, super nice. The second thing we're gonna try is the sparkling lip balm. Oh my goodness. I know it doesn't really go on the lips the way it looks in the bullet, but how stunning is this? It just looks so expensive. So I'm gonna put both of those on in preparation for the makeup. Oh, it's really hard to press. Oh, oh, there she comes out. That was probably too much. I did two pumps. I think that was too much. Oh, it's quite goopy yogurty type of texture. Yeah, I definitely put too much, but it feels really nice. It feels like a really nice kind of moisture barrier. I do love a moisturizer in the morning. Um, I don't typically go for primers on their own, so I feel like this will be something I'll really enjoy. As for whether yeah, I feel like it's glowy, but also I'll wait for it to dry down a little bit because, I mean, when you put on a moisturizer, obviously you feel more glowy. But it feels really, really nice on the skin. The slightest, slightest bit tacky, which will be good for the foundation. Awesome. And then this guy, I almost don't want to use it because I don't want to ruin the shimmer, but let's, let's go ahead and put it on. Oh, oh. I think that was just the top layer, though. All right, is it? Oh no, it's on the inside too. That's a really, really nice shimmer. Ooh. Oh, that's lovely. I'm happy with that. I thought it was going to be one of those, you know, where it's just on the outside, but nope, it goes on to the lips. Awesome, great. So for the face, um, there was no foundation, there was no powder, and there were no brows. So very quickly, I'm going to do that off camera, and I will be right back. And there's my face. <laughs> So next we have blushes. There were three, two or three. I know there was a highlighter. I didn't get the highlighter. I'll show you why. But I got number two in Silky Mauve. The other one, it was like this weird nude color, but it was so, so shimmery. It was almost like a highlighter. And I was like, mm, I'll go for this one. I don't really have a shade this color. Super cute packaging again with a little love heart. And this is the color. So it does still have quite a lovely luminescence and I've been really, really digging. I've been getting back into pink and glowy and big blush. I know that's a trend right now anyways. So I'm just gonna put that all over the face and including my nose and see how that goes on. It has this, it's, it's a really lovely like glow from within. It's not shiny, but it just, it, it feels luminous. We're looking for that really glowy pink cheek. The I'm in love glow. And I like to bring it up to the temples. I want a little bit more on the chuckle. 
that's so lovely i really i mean i have pink blushes but this one really is a bit more of that mauvey tone and it's so so lovely i'm really happy with that also these are gonna last you 10,000 years i need to figure out ways to use up my makeup but and the collections usually have a scent i know they actually had a fragrance with this collection i didn't grab it but it's kind of like florally really nice this smells quite nice it's nothing really strong sometimes it's a little bit too strong with kiko but that's that so there were two little mini eyeshadow palettes and fun fact I've never actually purchased eyeshadow at Kiko because every time I've tried it it's always seemed very very meh but these were super cute and I swatched them in store and the pigment actually felt bomb.com so I was like okay my favorite I think we'll see how it goes on the eyes is this one Le Vion Rose how cute I love that name I love the song Edith Piaf was such a legend so this is Le Vion Rose so all of them look like this on the inside how freaking cute is it with a little love heart <gasps> I love it one thing I will say a lot of Kiko they have packaging like this for the eyeshadow palettes where it's like really really intricate and I it's it's hard to get your brush into I'll put a picture here I think it was the Amalfi Coast collection from last fall and it's just it's too much but this one I can get in there but even so up here right like am I really gonna go all the way in there whatever so I'll do this with um, one lip look I'll do one look with this and there's a lip product what am I trying to say I have two looks for you guys one is with this eyeshadow palette the next one is number two this one is earthy heart the third one I didn't take it was actually it was quite like red with a shimmer and I wasn't really digging it and again I'm trying to kind of buy more consciously which how many days into January I already bought uh, most of a collection this is earthy heart again I was kind of like I don't know if I will or won't but they were so pigmented and so pretty and sometimes we just have a little cute duo on the go I'm very excited so we have two looks there there's also this gorgeous gorgeous sparkling top coat they only had the one and as soon as I saw it I was like I if, if I buy one thing from this collection it's probably gonna be this so it's this cute little jar little spongy sponge for protection but this is what it looks like and it's this iridescent pearlescent pink purple which overall is one of my favorite kind of shimmers shades whatever you want to call it and I can use that as a highlight and it's a topper as well or on its own on the lid so we're gonna play around there and basically before I dive into the eyes I'm talking a lot but to match these two eyeshadow palettes I do have two lids so I only got one lipstick there were like eight or ten there was a lot and I love their lipsticks but again it's trying to pick something I don't really have so this one is number five and it is oh they didn't have the name but it's the mauve one again looks like this and I really don't have a color like that so I was excited to oh maybe you can't see I was really excited to try it a little bit more on the purple side. I got the matching lip liner. I love their lip liners, but sometimes they're, they're a bit crumbly, but this one is brand new and fresh, so hopefully it's really good. So I thought, great, let's do those. And then the uh, last thing I'm opening. So this was a cute little set and it's called Perfect Look Kit. So it's in Sweet Cherry and basically it has a lipstick and a dual eyeliner. So this is the other lipstick I'll be using to complete my second look, but that one is in obviously Sweet Cherry, this lovely red shade. What would Valentine's be without red? And then I thought this was really awesome. So they have a dual eyeliner. So one is a retractable coal pencil and the other is a little liquid pencil pencil liquid liner so I'm really stoked on that so for look one we're gonna go in with La Vion Rose the first one the one that's a bit more nude and neutral and that's gonna be going with the mauve lipstick and lip liner and then we'll figure out what to do with uh, the topper and, and the eyeliner so let's get going so first off picking up really well pigment seems really nice let's let's get in that's going on so super nicely I am already impressed and you might think okay that's really early for you to say that but I'm not kidding a lot of Kiko eyeshadow palettes I've tried they're just they're hard they're dry and I've never felt that they've been super pigmented so I'm already super excited by this because it's going on so smoothly nice and buttery just a really really lovely color and that's such a nice neutral pink what am I doing with the look We'll blend it out but it's a really lovely neutral color that I think could suit a lot of people and it's kind of that one shade 
look look you know what i mean let's just blend that out wow i'm i'm impressed honestly i'm thinking you could probably use this shade as a blush too that would be a really lovely color that's so soft and lovely i really like it it's very romantic which obviously i think is the point for the shimmer, it has like the softest little pink glow. I'm just gonna go in with my finger because I feel like it. I'm sure it works nice with a brush. All right, nice and simple and classy. I'm curious about the top coat. I'm just gonna go in with the top coat on one eye first and we'll see the difference. Oh, I love it. Do you see that iridescence? That is so nice. Oh my goodness. I feel like I need to go back in a little bit with the mauve color just to deepen it, but I am loving the top coat. Very much so. Let's just put it all over my face because I'm obsessed. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh. I want to put it all over my body. That's amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. 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 Just deepening that first color a little bit. There you go. Awesome. And now with the eyeliner, um, this is such a gentle look. I don't really want to do too much. I'll do it with the liquid liner, just the tiniest little wing at the end. pleasantly surprised. The last Kiko liner I got was not my favorite. I felt like no liquid was coming out of it, but this one, so far so good. Really nice. I am... Wow, Kiko, what? I didn't even keep this upside down, you know, to, to make sure the ink is at the bottom. It was on its side. That was so easy to do. But I'll be right back. I'm gonna do my mascara and then we'll proceed. <laughs> and then we'll proceed with the lips. All right, let's go into the mauve lips. I am seriously really pleasantly surprised with the eyeliner. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go in. This is again shade number five, long lasting lip liner. <laughs> Nice. So super creamy. Much better than the other one I had so far. Really lovely. Lipstick. So generally I absolutely love their lipstick formulas. Also I really love their caps because they're magnetic. So cool. So simple but so cool. Let's go in. I've never had a color like this. This is really strange to see on myself. Oh my goodness, I'm 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 kind of loving this lip color on me. Ooh! 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 First impressions, um, I'll do the full full impressions at the end of the video, but super most impressed by the eyeliner and the lipstick. I didn't expect to enjoy this color so much or for it to be so lovely and creamy and nice. Pigment in the palette, pleasantly surprised. Like I mentioned, I don't feel like Kiko is one for the most pigmented best eyeshadows, but this one has really been lovely. Really like the blush, and I just feel really lovely and warm and Valentine's y and ladylike and <laughs> really, really nice. So let's uh, take off the eyes and the lips. Why do I do this with my hands all the time? And do the other look, the look number two. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, look number two. So we're going in with the second palette, 
earthy heart, a very lovely deep chocolate brown, and the gold, and we'll be doing the cherry lips. Yeah, let's just, what did I wanna do with this one? Let's just dive in and see what happens. Ooh, that pigment is there. Very pleased, very pleased here. I kinda wanted to do that little, well, basically what I'm doing, I guess, is what I wanted to do, so that's good. Nice, yes, I want to keep that shape. I'm just gonna deepen it a little bit more. The problem is always matching it on the other side, isn't it? I think it's quite good. Yeah, it matches. And let's do a little of the under eye. And for this one, I'm gonna go in with a brush just to see how it works with a brush as opposed to a finger. It's picking up really nicely so far. Ooh, really nice, really nice. That's a gorgeous gold color. It's nice to just have a very simple go-to look, you know? It, it gets really complicated sometimes in this makeup world and this just seems really lovely. And I just want to make it pop a little bit more because I'm going in with my finger. And then I do, I kind of want to see how the shimmer pot will go over it, but I don't want to take away from the warmth of the gold, so I'm just going to do it on the inner corners. And a little bit more everywhere else. Ooh, I really like how that turned out. Pleasantly surprised again, Kiko. What's what's crack a lacking? All right, and I'll try to do my wing with the coal. No promises. Um, I'm not great with the coal pencil wing liner, but maybe I'll just do a little 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 snitch. So it's going on nicely, but I, I just don't personally use the Kohl pencil for these kinds of looks. So I'm gonna go back in with the liquid liner. Awesome, I'm still really loving this eyeliner. Once again, gonna do mascara and I'll be right back. All right, and now we go in with the cherry lipstick. I'm only calling it cherry because it's a cherry. What is it, the cherry kit? Cherry love, sweet cherry. This is number seven. I don't have the lip liner. Let's see how it goes without it. What a color. They're so creamy. I love Kiko lipsticks. And there is the second look. Well, here we are. Let's just let's just do it. Let's dive right into my final thoughts. Why why waste time? So, first and foremost, I mean again, keep in mind first impressions, right? So, we'll see, but I really really did like the primer. I'm I like I said, I'm not one to really use a lot of primers. If I do, I like the moisturizing ones, not silicone, but I really did feel like my skin was quite glowy after it and it's just the slightest bit tacky, which I think really helped with the foundation. Next, we had this lovely shimmery lip balm, which just for the way it looks alone, I would say get it. But I was really pleasantly surprised because sometimes, you know, it rubs off on the outside and then the inside is just basically nothing. This really does leave a lovely sheen with some very, very gentle glitters. So I really do like that. Next, we have the blush. So as a general rule of thumb, I'm always going to recommend to you Kiko blushes. I think they they just have really perfected their formula. It's always really good, really pigmented, buildable, blendable, really lovely. Smells nice. And I think this one has this gorgeous glowy radiance where... I don't know, it's it's a blush but more. It really makes you feel lovely and nice and not flat. So I quite, quite love this blush and I do recommend this color. I think it's really lovely. Next, I'm gonna quickly jump to the Ray of Love Sparkling Eye Top Coat. I adore this. It's so smooth and creamy. There's quite a lot. It's amazing as a topper and as a highlighter. I really think this is multifunctional and so good. Ooh, 
dropping things. So I really, really recommend this if you're thinking of getting this. I think this is awesome. Keep in mind, of course, it depends on if the shade would suit you, but if it does, awesome. Next, I'm gonna go into the eyeliner. I am so blown away by the liquid liner here. I've tried quite a few Kiko liners and quite frankly, I, I thought they've been borderline crap. <laughs> but this one is amazing. It's such a fine line. It draws on really evenly, really easily. I don't have to like shake it or wait for the ink to come down. It's awesome. The Kohl pencil, it's standard. It's really, really good. I just didn't quite use it for this look, but I tried it on my hand and it's really smooth and creamy. So if you like dual pencils, I, I mean, just in general, this is an awesome, awesome product. Next, the 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 eyeshadow palettes my first ones with kiko what do we what do we think of these overall i mean the concept is super cute they're really lovely but at the end of the day well i think these were eight nine year old it's just two eyeshadows i was i'm gonna admit very very pleasantly surprised with the pigmentation the creaminess of these eyeshadows because like i said generally they're not the best but are they that that special? No. Are they really lovely? Yes. So if you have something at all similar, I wouldn't really necessarily recommend you buy them. I think as a gift, they'll be super lovely and cute. And for someone who maybe doesn't wear the most bright makeup, these are quite nice because they're very soft. And again, like I said, I'm already getting makeup on the borders. I don't know how I'm gonna get up here in the, in the first little curve of the heart. And as well, there's a lot more of one color than the other, which maybe I want more of the other color, you know? They're really nice. Do I really super recommend them? No, but are they good products? Yes, so only if you really don't have these colors, Adore Kiko really, really need something like this, get them maybe as a gift, but I think most of us have shades similar to this already. Sorry. And lastly, we have what? We have the lip products and that's it, right? Oh my goodness a lot of money <laughs> so first of all the lip liner in general I really like Kiko's lip liners they're really smooth and creamy I'd say just keep an eye out and try them in the store I find when it's an older collection when they do their sales sometimes they're a little bit dry and crumbly this one was super creamy and really lovely and the two lipsticks we have yeah number five which is the mauve and number seven which is this lovely red I love Kiko lipsticks I truly think again as, as far as their products go, their brand, lipsticks are some of the things they do best. This color completely blew me away. I was not expecting to enjoy that type of shade on me, but again, very creamy, went on easily, fixable, feels really nice on the lips. And same for this one. Now, of course, I think a lot of people have red lipstick. So unless you kind of don't have the shade or really need a new one, I'd say don't bother. Pick the shade, ooh, pick the shade that really is unique to you and you think you would wear, but overall the formula is really excellent and feels amazing on the lips. Very easy application. So, there you go. I recommend most of the collection and hope you really, really enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, definitely please subscribe down below because it would really mean a lot to me to have you on this journey with me. Let me know what you guys thought of the collection. Did you buy it? Are you gonna buy it? Are you curious? Do you not care at all? Should I stop talking now? Let me know what your favorite look was down below and what your thoughts are. I am genuinely curious. Other than that, you can catch me on social media at Slavic Chic, and I will hopefully catch you guys in the next video. Bye!